So I just realized that uh, the last episode uh, that I recorded didn't actually have uh, my voice being recorded. Not that that's any great loss to anybody who has actually watched this far in this series. Um, to be honest, not a whole lot happened, I guess. Uh, we took care of the Rebels and Comoros. We waited for the truce to end with Lanjang. Finished coring a bunch of stuff. Built universities in all of our uh, provinces. Finished colonizing everything we wanted to colonize and moved those colonists into provinces where it will be cheap for them to, or not cheap, high chance of them increasing development that is close to 30. And I also rushed the monument in Bangkok, the Grand Palace, uh, which has given us a surprising increase to governing capacity. Uh, but I'm not actually going to make anything into states until after our wars with Lan Zhang, with whom we only need to take uh, nine provinces in this war. By the way, we're at war with Lan Zhang, Ming, and Ayutthaya. I think those are the only participates. Ming already wants out. Let's go ahead and do that. This is pretty much going to be the last war I record for this series, I think, provided we can take the mission of invade the mainland, and uh, then the only mission we have left is Renowned Buccaneer, which I can't get until, I think, 1780, being in the uh, Far East, which sucks, but, uh, I mean, hey plights of being a pirate where pirates don't usually get a lot of events. I mean, I think most people who play Pirate Republics uh, just lost a general. Okay, it was one of the ones drilling. Um, get a new general. I think most people who play Pirate Republics, Palembang is a high priority one, or not priority, a high, there's a word I'm looking for. It's the easiest one to play, I think. Everything else you have to wait for events or start as... Oris actually got central authority asserted from uh, court and country. What's the Pirate Republic here? So, I think that's who starts here as a Pirate Republic, or they become a Pirate Republic very quickly after the start of the game, similar to how... Uh, Palembang gets an event to do so. But, uh... I also haven't really been raiding for the last ten years. And that's kind of due partly to the fact that I don't really need money from raiding that often, though we did, we did build a huge empire on the hoard of pirate gold we collected. Uh, also, our targets have been limited lately, like in the last 10 years, because we have truces with most of the rich people around us, and I mean, I do have like staging points to raid from all over the world, but 
I knew that this game would be ending soon anyway, so here we are in this last war. Ming is out. Ayutai will want out soon. I don't know if I should take land from them or not. I do want to use this broken mechanic of rushing monuments. And my next heart for conversion is going to be Angkor because I want to build the monument there too. Again, not that it matters because this game's coming to an end. What's our governing capacity look like right now? We are 160 under our governing capacity. Huge turnaround from being over it by a lot. Not a lot, but a not insignificant amount. Get Ayutai out of this war. I am not touching the Pegu Separatist lands. I think I will take all the land that I can, though. In these two coastal provinces. Monument in Bangkok. For 10 years we get minus 10% stability cost. I guess we don't need the guys protecting or hunting enemy fleets in the east or the south of the east china sea we'll have them continue to do so in the south china sea maybe no we don't need them to do that either we just need them to go to the blockade land chain. Siege of Vientan is over. Go siege down Tan Ho. We don't need thirty thousand troops standing here. We'll go occupy everything else though. Lan Zhang is on low enthusiasm. Ayutthaya. Ayutthaya just needs to have their uh, war exhaustion raised and uh, enthusiasm lowered. Alright, let's move on to other provinces. Local traders demand aid. Yeah, I do want to do that. I need to not convert Jirai stuff because it converts it to the wrong the wrong religion. It converts it to their religion, not mine. Hmm. 
might as well have all of our cannon working on the same siege. Even though I think we only get the bonus from 10 of them. Okay, that's a waste. Already at 80% war score in this war. Great Britain so discontent on me. That's annoying. Why am I sending the further one to the furthest province? Alright, that should be the way, way to do it. Lost the siege of Nanjing, really? Guess that's what I get for not really defending it or paying attention to it. We have an election. Still keeping this guy. I'll take the hit to diplomatic points and money rather than take the trade hit, destroy Lan Zhang's navy, and now all we're going to do is occupy everything. Wow, Orissa, you really need to manage your rebels better. So yeah, Orissa had uh, Pegu Separatists that spilled over into Ayutthaya. I'm being careful to not let these Separatists be taken care of during this war. Because I want them to break free again. So that I could possibly... I mean, again... Not really continuing the game past this point, other than waiting for my legendary admiral. But, uh, it's 99% war score, but that's what I would do in this case. Uh, let Pegu become free from Aetai and try to peacefully vassalize them. Though they will be of a different religion. Um, so I don't know how feasible that would be. Really? They still won't? So we have to go and... Oh, missionary strength guy. I've been waiting for one of those. We'll go and retake Nanjing, I guess. Delayed salaries, lose professionalism, or lose a bunch of manpower. I'll take the manpower hit. Oh, wow, we completely depleted our manpower because of uh, us building that monument. Didn't realize it was that much, but apparently it was. 7,500 per click. Alright, well, I guess now we let it build up.
I guess another thing, reason why we don't have a 100% war score is because of us not compl uh, completely sieging down Ayutthaya. If they bring their army down to try to siege Canton, I am going to destroy them. Alright, so now will you just wait on this? I have to wonder where their troops are. Or where they even want to. Are they just sitting up in the mountains in Maine? Nope, there's some Lanjang troops. So we'll catch them there, hopefully. Already our siege in Nanjing is at 35%. And that's a stack wipe. Does I tie one out yet? Nope. I guess we're waiting. And this has gotten up to 71%. We win it this time, or will it go up to 78? No, good. Now Manchu wants in. I could just take one of these provinces. That is a very large state. 48 development there, 29 here. Probably just going to take the one province, otherwise this one's going to take forever for them to let me have it. Converted Angkor. Alright, I think we're just gonna end it. Take the big one. Well, you won't know just give me the big one. Don't even worry about money. We'll wait for our diplomat to get back. And I am taking the rest of this for myself. I'm not giving it to my vassal. I prefer to take whole states if I can, or states that I have partial control of already.
Nice, 99%. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and the one we took from Iotaya is 11. This is going to give us a little bit of overextension. A little bit. But, we gain permanent claim on the Burma region and finish the second to last mission we need. We're at 120% overextension, but any rebels that rise up, I'm not really too concerned about. And I think I'm just going to say that this was a very successful game. I enjoyed myself, had a lot of fun completely ruining Ming in the mid-game, and uh, we'll see if we can find another country to play as, or I might play something entirely new. New to this channel, not new in the actual sense of the word.